So it's nice and heavy. It feels like very good quality. The handle is nice and heavy for a sturdier control. So. All right. One time. Mm -hmm. Let's get one more for good measure. Okay, one more for good measure. Yeah. Back into this food. Now it's out of my face. It'll smell good. It's gonna smell delicious. Oh, look at it, y'all. <laughs> I thought that I'm like that's not me is it <laughs> all of my will tease so in today's video I'm going to be doing a review on a knife that I was kindly sent by the company Godmorn now this knife is eight inches of German high carbon stainless steel so I'm gonna first do an unboxing and then I'll show you guys how I use this okay so it came in a pack like this and then when I opened it up this is what it looks like here. And it comes with this little, uh, I guess this is a little packing slip. And it lets you know there that it is 8 inches. Um, it's an 8 inch uh, chef's knife. And it's German carbon stainless steel. Or German carbon steel. Okay, so the box has a little plastic wrapping on the outside of it. It has the company name here. It says classic series full tang for superb robustness and quality. So what I'm going to do is open this up. <clears throat> so it's packed very well. And it comes with a bubble wrap on the inside, you know, for shape, safe uh, shipping. Okay, so now I'm going to take off the outside cardboard with the company name on it if you turn to the back it says the Godmorn series uh, the Godmorn classic series blade is precision forge for x50 CR MOV 15 the German high barbon stainless steel the Godmorn classic series handle is meticulously constructed of ABS and suitable for dishwashers Let's get into there. Okay, so when you open it up, this is what it looks like. It looks very nice on the inside. It's nice and smooth. So the packaging is very nice, and it comes with a warranty card and a user's manual in there for you to check out. And then it comes with the knife. So this chef knife has a white handle to it. And it's trimmed in the same stainless steel as the blade. And then also it comes with a protective cover over the steel um, chopping part. <laughs> Alrighty. So that's what it looks like when you remove it from the package. It has the series right here written on the knife. And then on the other side that's what it looks like. So it's nice and heavy. It feels like very good quality. The handle is nice and heavy for a sturdier control. So, and yeah, now we're gonna put it to use and see how this works. Okay, so now we're gonna test this out on a couple vegetables. I am making a pot roast tonight for dinner and then we're gonna be making some stir fry as well. So let's test this out. So first let's use it for the bell pepper. Move this over and then let's see. Ooh. Okay, that cut pretty easy. Cut pretty good. So I'm going to cut it down the middle. Okay, guys, I had to switch my cutting board. That one was a little wobbly. But as you can see, this slices effortlessly. Now, I am going to be giving my honest review. I am not paid to say any of these things. So, however I feel is how I feel about this knife. I'm going to be truthful and honest with you guys and let you know how I feel, whether I like it or not. Honest review here. Mm -hmm. Cuts up really nice. Whatever. I'm going to do thin strips, as you can see. How they cut that thin strip. See that thin strip it just made? That's great. Wow. So here I have one large onion. Um, I'm only gonna need about half of this for my pot roast. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in half. And this will be perfect for making onion rings because it cuts it into very small little strips. So what I'm doing is going, you know how you go on the sides. And then you go this way. You guys know. This goes through very smoothly. And then you come back this way and you just chop it. That's basically what I'm doing. Got some Baby Bella sliced mushrooms. So they're not hard to cut, but it does make it easier when you have a knife that's going to assist. So a little rough chop. And there's that. All right, guys. So it's my turn to try this God Morn Chef Series knife. I'm gonna try it out on these very fat and juicy um, chicken breasts here. It already be deboned, um, de-skinned uh, fillets. So I'm gonna make some uh, stir fry, chicken stir fry. Oh, white butter. I made pretty decent, though. That looks really good. Yeah, I'm barely putting any pressure. Slide like butter. Go forward a little bit. Rock back one time. Run your finger. All right. Not bad. It's good to have a knife like this that's sharp like this. You can definitely make some nice, uh, nice little chunks, as you see. So what we'll do, I'm gonna do these in little chunks. Make some sharpness, as you can see. Look at these nice meat chunks. That's crazy. Leave a couple big pieces in there. So guys, you see how nice this knife cuts? I mean, it's very sharp and precise. I just want to let you guys know that I will be leaving a link to the website down below so you guys can go check it out and get your discounted price. Definitely go stop by and pick one of these up, guys. Look at that butterfly. You see that? Wow. Get your butterfly. Look at that. Season them up real nice. Close them back. Now you got your cordon bleu right there. It make you nice and surgeon. Uh, incision, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff them with some cheese, some veggies. And, and guys, happen. Lee is brutally honest. <laughs> so if it wasn't good, or if it didn't work good, he'll, he can't help himself. <laughs> we are not getting paid to say this, so this is our honest opinion. Yeah, definitely. If it was garbage, I would have went to one of my regular knives. If it was garbage, I would not introduce this to the Will Tees as something to buy. Yeah. Well... We would have still made the video because we wouldn't have known it was garbage until yeah. we used it. We would have made the video, but we would have told you guys that it was not something I would purchase. I'll let you know right now. If I can cut this right here, that's nice. Because we got some knives that we get from our Asian store. They're like scaffolds. <laughs> and this one is a big one, just like that. Yeah. Uh, and I, I respect that. Look at this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to grab it. I think this thing's so sharp, you don't cut my cutting board. <laughs> it's great, guys. This is a good knife. You know, I'm always skeptical because you just never know, but this gets both of my two thumbs up. 
and two of these thumbs up. Yeah, two thumbs up. Those are important thumbs up. Lead thumbs up. <laughs> You're staying sharp. I'm going slow because I'm scared I might cut myself. <laughs> I'll cut yourself now. Yeah, the way it's cutting this meat. My flesh is sad. Look at that. Look at that, guys. We got thin that piece of meat. I think I can, I can, I can even go thinner. Let's try it. I think I go thinner. Like butter, baby. Like right, butter. Look at that. <laughs> if you want to have somebody at your house that they can ask for dinner, feed them, feed them something thin like that. They're gone. <laughs> Never ask for dinner again. <laughs> Look at that. I told you this will be great like to make onion thing. rings because you can cut them nice and uniform size and make you some nice onion rings or anything that you need to be cut very thinly. Look at that. Look like, like we're cutting kind of like fish. Look, what kind of chicken is this? <laughs> Look, be careful with my pain right there. When you're cutting, make sure you do keep in mind all safety rules and protocols. Please. Alright guys, so we seen how you, this is the knife, it's beautiful now, it got a nice weight to it, it's not one of the knives that you see that, that disconnect right here with the plastic, they made this one, with only just a little bit of plastic, it's mostly just smooth, mm -hmm. no, serrated, no serrated edges, oh, that's nice right there, if, you, if you're a fisherman, or like to fish, this right here, a filet of fish. That day I get it done. Now, next day we need to test on this and see how long does that stay sharp. Before having to resharpen yeah, it. Yeah, before having to resharpen it. Because right now that thing there. Uh, it's a beast. It's a beast. <laughs> it, it, it'll, cut a, it'll cut ribs. Tough ribs. You know, we don't know nothing about no tough ribs. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's the meat. Now I'm gonna jump over to the pot. I'm gonna throw this in the pot. I'm gonna throw it in there with some with some bell pepper, some portobellos, and some yellow onions. That right, baby? Yellow onions. Sweet onions. Sweet yeah. onions. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Sweet onions. It's okay. Same thing. All right. So first, before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna season it up. This is just pepper. You can see it, baby. It's focused. Mm hmm. My back hurt. <laughs> uh oh, I'm sorry about that. It's okay. You're in that kitchen. Your back gonna hurt. Your back gonna hurt. You gotta do what you do. Yeah, you know, somebody talking about. Yeah, I like the food. You know that, right? You talking about you don't like it. All right, some salt. I mean, this sea salt, guys. All right. All right, move around. That's right, good. Use some accent. Put it across the top. Alright. And we'll use some cayenne. Do it to your, to your liking. That was a little bit a lot, but. Use some ice a little bit a lot. <laughs> Alright, we got some Saison Goya packets. Just gonna make it orange. I don't know why we like it, but we love it around it here. It tastes good. It tastes real good. See, changing the orange. I won't lie to you. Oh, we need all that. Pay for all that. We need all that. All right. Then I have a one fourth of some mint garlic. Minced. Right. Minced garlic. <laughs> so, all right. So I got some preheated butter in here, uh, salted butter with a little bit of margarine. I'm gonna go ahead and have my bell pepper, my portobello, and my sweet onion. Right off in there. Just like that. Alright, get it off in there. Get it off in there. They got a little caramelization going on. Mmm, it smells good though. Mmm, it's good. Alright, there we go. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and add this meat that I previously just cut up. I'm going to get a close up picture of that right there. Snap one picture one time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's get one more for good measure. Okay, good, one more for good measure. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get one more like that so we get a thumbnail <laughs> in here. <laughs> you ain't close enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hi, my buddy. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, smile. Okay. I'm so sure we go. Back into this food. That's out of my face. It's gonna smell good. It's gonna smell delicious. Oh, look at it, y'all. You gotta make sure you stir it up. Cause I only did season one time on one side. Uh huh. No escapees. Look at that chicken. Start to come to that chicken like. There we go. Just like that. All right, guys. So while this is doing this thing, you want to put that on. All right. I got it on high. I'm gonna keep it on high for like maybe five minutes. You know what? I'm not gonna keep it on high for five minutes. I'm gonna put it on. Medium temp. You want it to smother itself in its own juices. You want to develop its flavors. You don't want to do it so fast. The flavors don't develop when you cook fast. You want to cook fast? Go buy your hot pocket. They sell them everywhere. Look at that. Look at that, girl. Oh, look, this piece I forgot to cut. Look at that. Nice. Somebody will be loving that piece. It's juicy. All right. Boom. Just like that. Make sure that you cook your chicken to at least 165 degrees. Y'all, if y'all had smell of vision oh my gosh. It's Make sure, please. Amazing. Yeah. All right, guys, so way. we'll be coming back for a plating. But yeah, man, this knife is awesome. Please click that link in the description. It is good. God morn. God morn. Chef's knife. Chef knife. Eight inch. Eight inch. Stainless carbon. <laughs> stainless carbon steel, guys. Yes. It is amazing. You make some great stew beef with it. Show them the knife one more time so we can get a good knife. look at it. One All more right. time. We'll do it with the food. Give me one second. Okay. Let me stir that around. That looks good, y'all. Look at that. And look, we literally made that in five minutes. <laughs> All right, guys. So the food is done. Still going. I got it cut off. That's how good and hot these pots we got. Ooh, that was hot. I'm gonna take it. Plate me a little bit. Plate me a little bit, just like that. All right, guys, look at that. Look at that. You see? It? You have my stomach down? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that. I'm like, that's not me, is it? Because <laughs> I don't feel nothing. But you can see this. Uh, yeah. This is in good light. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna taste this up a little bit. Ooh, a little juicy. I'm scared now. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. It's good. I think I should add a little more salt. Definitely juicy. Huh? I think I should add a little more salt. Maybe a little bit, yeah. And I never really say that. Mm. Mm. But yes, that's what that was. I call this. Well, I'm gonna call this, babe. Lee stir fry. Lee stir fry. I I didn't even taste any. Uh, I didn't even taste the heat. I thought I put a lot on. I tasted. <laughs> mm -hmm. You didn't put a lot, but I still tasted. Well, you know, my heat level is different, but. But yeah. Yeah. That's about it. Again, don't forget to check out the link in the description box. Thank you guys so much for joining us on Will TV TV. And until next video, guys, peace. Yeah. <laughs>